Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and welcome to the channel. Uh, no bumper, we're going to get straight into it. 133 favorite artists. If you're watching this series, I really appreciate it because I really love rankings, album rankings, artist rankings, song rankings. I watch those videos all the time, and I decided I wanted to do my own. So I made a list of uh, playlists on Spotify, and at 133, I'm like, I'm good. Those are the people that I really like. So that's why it's a random number. And I've got a link to the playlist below. You can check it out for this artist. And also, you know, I consider uh, the live experience and just how interested I am in the band. Do I, do I read up on them and things like that? So yeah, and uh, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. I also have a Patreon link below. You can support me there if you wish, or you can join for free. And so I got a good one for you today. I know I say that every time, uh, but this really is a good one. We're talking about a rap artist from Long Island, New York. If I say that the way they say it, and they never say Long Island, right? They say Long Island. But uh, yeah, good one. Um, and we've got a group uh, known for their vocals and their dense electronic sounds. So maybe you already know who I'm talking about. But uh, yeah talking about Public Enemy. Uh, this is a, probably my favorite rap group. Um, I, like, uh, I like everything. So I have some CDs of really old school rap. I've got several CDs, uh, four, five, six discs by The Last Poets. I've got a couple CDs by Watts Prophets, and I've got some material by Gil Scott Heron. I'm really interested in the origins. I've got a book that was published by Vibe. It's a whole history of um, uh, hip hop. They can they include uh, graffiti and break dancing and everything else in there, and it's great. And I made a uh, several playlists based on that book. So I've done a really deep, deep, deep dive into the history of hip hop from those early groups on through you know, Sugar Hill Gang and Curtis Blow and LL Cool J and all that. And the sweet spot for me comes with Public Enemy. So uh, I'll always let you guys know if I've seen a band live. Have I seen Public Enemy? Yes. Yes, I have. Sort of. I have to explain. So 1992, the fall of 92, and they came to Tempe, Arizona, and their hit single at the time was By the Time I Get to Arizona. And they were protesting the fact that Arizona had not adopted the Martin Luther King holiday. So they came on stage. They did a short set, three songs, including that song, and walked off stage. So we didn't get a full set. And that was, um, they weren't going to perform at all. But then they thought, well, let's let's do this song. And so it was maybe a 20 minute set and then they stormed off stage and they were angry and it was great. I loved it. So even though it was short, yeah, so I got to see Public Enemy one time. Uh, they were maybe just starting to come down from their peak, but they were still pretty vital. And what do I have on CD? Just two CDs, but good ones. I have It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back and my favorite Fear of a Black Planet. These guys are just great. I love this mix of Chuck D's really political, uh, clearly enunciated vocals in contrast with Flavor Flav's Comic Relief, and then that dense um, sample bed of samples that the Bomb Squad does. It's just irresistible, and it was good live to, to see the Bomb Squad doing all their thing. Great. Um, and, and their lyrics, you know, everything from I, I don't believe the hype and uh, bring the noise and welcome to the Terror Dome. Love that lyric. Elvis. Elvis was a hero to some, but he never meant shit to me. Yeah, you know, I, I like Elvis, but yeah, he's Elvis is not my Elvis, so. I don't know if that makes sense. So I, I get that. You know, Elvis was a hero to some. He certainly wasn't a hero to me. I enjoy a lot of his music, but yeah, he just, you know, I, 
I know, I know I, 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 um, promote myself here as being a senior and being kind of old, but I'm actually a little young for Elvis. Most of his big hits were before I was born. Um, and when I grew up as a kid, he was making those beach movies with the girls in bikinis and my sister loved him and ugh, I didn't like those movies. So I grew up with kind of a, but my dad liked Elvis. He had some, uh, 45s and because of that, I, I, I kind of did get into him, but my first exposure was all those movies, but public enemy, they're real. And Flavor Flay's watch with, do you know what time it is? That's not dated. So maybe their music is a little dated by today's uh, underground rap, hip hop standards. But I still like this classic period of the uh, 80s and 90s public enemy. So that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me on the channel. Let me know what you think. And, and as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.